Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and this week while I'm out on vacation, I thought I'd change it up and do a little something different for you. As some of you know, I used to do a video series called Top 5, and so this is going to be a throwback to that. I'm giving you guys my own Top 5 list of DIY summer projects. It's a totally subjective list of just the summer projects I want to accomplish this summer, but maybe it will help inspire some of you guys. Starting off at number five, buying my first 3D printer. If you don't think that's a project, then you've never had a 3D printer. Now, I've used 3D printers at work and I know them well enough to talk about 3D printing on this show without sounding like a total moron, but I don't yet own a 3D printer. I'd like to change that this summer and I'd also like to let that lead me into some deeper skill with designing 3D models in Fusion 360. I'm not sure which printer I'm gonna get yet, but I've been regularly poring over Make Magazine's online 3D printer guide to weigh my options. If you have a strong opinion on what I should get or not get, leave me a comment. And number four, a solar project. It makes sense, right? The sun is out, you should take advantage of solar energy. And as much as I'd love to say that the reason I want to do this is to understand how to save the planet with solar energy, really, I just want to make an electronics project that can live on its own. For example, I want to make a light show of NeoPixel projects in my backyard that can charge up during the day and automatically switch on at night. Energy independence is great, but really, I just want to stop having to plug things in altogether. Number three, a custom Bluetooth boombox. There are dozens of these on Instructables, but I've yet to really roll my own. Specifically, I want to add a speaker system to the Hello Kitty go-kart. Because, let's be real, as a grown man, it's a little creepy for me to ride around my neighborhood in a Hello Kitty car. But, if I could blast some Ramones while I do it, then I'm just the neighborhood eccentric, right? At number two, a bike project. I have a hand-me-down little beater bike that is falling apart, but I love it. It just needs some TLC and some fun hacks. There's no reason this bike shouldn't reflect who I am, and there are just so many bike projects to try. Lights, decorations, Arduino speedometers, paint jobs, mud guards, helmet hacks. The bike is a perfect outlet for maker projects, and I've been letting my bike down. In the spirit of summer, I have a new tool to share with you guys that I found through the Cool Tools blog. This is the d light S2 Rechargeable Solar LED Light. It sells for around $14 on Amazon Prime, and by using the link in the description, you help to support this show and the Cool Tools blog. You can find cheap solar lights anywhere, and I have some crappy ones in my backyard. They're dim, the batteries wear out, and they're fragile. The S2 is exactly the opposite. It was designed specifically to be as bright as a kerosene lantern for rural off-grid households in developing countries. The battery technology uses a lithium iron phosphate pack, or LifePo, that holds up much longer than other rechargeable batteries and is covered by a two-year warranty and rated for at least five years of use. And the light is so well designed. It's tough, it's great for camping, it resists water, dust, and bugs. The metal stand works as a hanger. There's a barrel jack that lets you charge the battery over USB in a pinch. The power button glows in the dark. For $14, it is a rock solid, versatile light, and it came recommended by maker Kent Barnes. I keep mine hung up in the backyard, but I'm thinking of getting another one just to keep with my camping gear. There's a link to Kent's review in the video description, and you can see thousands of reader-recommended tools just like this at cool-tools.org. All right, and now my number one DIY project for summer, planning for Halloween. And I know that seems wrong, but how many times have you let yourself down once Halloween comes around and you just don't have a great costume, your decorations are weak? For me, it's every year and I'm tired of it. And I feel like especially now that I'm this more public maker guy, I just can't half-ass it anymore. Good costumes and props take time. So this summer, I'm going to sift through the Instructables Halloween section and make a plan. No more spending Halloween envious of other people's decorations and costumes. It's time to be the awesome house on the block. So those are the five projects I'm most looking forward to getting done this summer. If you have a project you're looking forward to, let me know. Leave me a comment here in this video or email me. I'm donald at makerprojectlab.com. And if you're interested in getting that 
solar LED light, uh, please pick it up using the link in the video description here and that helps out this show. I think it's especially great if you have any camping plan this summer. And next week, I'll be back to the regular format for Maker Update, but I hope this was a fun little diversion. All right, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.